Welcome, 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 welcome. This is a podcast, one and only exclusive. If you want to be exclusive, be exclusive. This is an exclusive podcast, yours truly. I'm coming to you straight from the get-go. We're, we are going to talk about everything today. We're only going to talk about the one important thing today is that uh, we had the throne speech. You thought you the thought United States didn't have theirs. In Canada, we have the throne speech. The throne speech today, they said it in English and then in French version. So they kind of really spoke it, and they kind of did the speech in English and French. So if the French people want to know about the French language, they did both languages. So English and French. Here in Canada, we got the, uh, the speech from the throne. It was great. It was great. Long and lengthy, but it was great. Uh, but yes, it was very lengthy, and it, it was in the new building, new building in Ottawa, Canada. This is Ottawa, Canada, and uh, the Parliament people were there, and included. Guess what? Justin Trudeau was there as well. Uh, he's the Prime Minister of Canada. He was there, and, and get this, get this, people. They're all wearing masks. I kid you not. All wearing masks, and this was hard to believe for anybody. But yeah, I'll wear masks, but I just want to say to you guys, you don't have to wear masks. This is an option. I give people options. You don't have to wear them. Uh, but this is your choice. This is your life, as they say, your life, your choice. So I'm going to give you guys that. And uh, it's a beautiful world we live in this day and age. We have people are passing away and 2 billion people passed away or perished due to the pandemic in the United States. That's right. United States, did I say United States? So there you got, you got 2,000 people who passed away for the pandemic. Not little kids passed away, but, uh, but, uh, seniors, the seniors passed away due to the pandemic. It's not because of, uh, cause of death. They always say the cause of death, well, the cause of death due to the pandemic. Um, that's the cause of death for anybody in the world. Uh, originally they get the coroner's report and it says COVID-19 so that's what happens that was happened there folks uh, the cause of death was not to do with cancer not to do with uh, uh, a heart rate or anything like that nothing to do with that just uh, the pandemic we lost, we lost a lot of people in the United States we truly did sad sad and I was thinking today, where is Jesus? What would Jesus think when uh, all this pandemic in the world is happening? What would he would say to all this? Or um, the humanity, as they would say, humanity to our world, to our worldwide. I mean, what was Jesus would think about all this happening? I'm just wondering, folks, what would Jesus say? When you come down and say, what is going on in this world? Why is everybody wearing masks kind of thing? You know, are, are human beings on this planet? And this is crazy. Jesus would uh, would be, up, uh, he would be crying by now. As humans on the planet, we are wearing masks. We got to do six feet. We got to wash our hands. Uh, I don't know, I'm not, not every 20 minutes, but maybe after one term. But there you go, folks. What would Jesus say? Just put that out. Just put it out there, folks. What would Jesus say from all this pandemic? If you if you were if you were Jesus Christ, the Lord and Lord and Savior, as everybody thinks that He is, what would He say in a, in a time of pandemic? As our human beings on this planet, no matter if you're a, a girl, guy, a little kid, adult. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, to uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, to a Christian person, to an atheist person, uh, to every religious, do you believe in? Atheist is mean that you don't believe in God. Uh, Christian is you believe in the the Holy Bible, the Holy Bible, whatever it says, or the uh, Hebrew Bible. And uh, it does say in the Hebrew Bible about the uh, the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant. Now, let me explain to a lot of people out there what the Ark of the Covenant entails. The Ark of the Covenant is, it holds a lot of power. People think it holds the Ten Commandments. Yes, that's right. You heard me right there. The Ten Commandments. 
and it's very powerful. People don't realize how powerful this art of the covenant is, and that's why they hide this damn thing. Because uh, they don't want going near it, this thing. Because it holds, it holds power. I don't know what kind of power it holds, but it holds some kind of power. So if you're in, if you're a faith person, you can only touch it if you're a faith person. Art of the Covenant. There's a guy on YouTube. He discussed when the Art of the Covenant is going to be uh, is going to be found. October 22nd. He gave a, uh, he was gift uh, he was given a date on the calendar of the Jewish calendar. October 22nd. He uh, did the calculations on this. October 22nd. We don't know what time on October 22nd, but on that day. Jesus will go into Israel. That's right. You heard me there first. Jesus is going to Israel with the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, this is no trickery. This is not the third person. This is not like false, uh, false belief system. Jesus is going to Israel. He's going to be moving to Israel. This is on October 22nd. He's moving to Israel. This is what, I'm, what I've heard that Jesus is moving to Israel. So October 22nd of 2020, this is what I'm getting. The Art of the Covenant and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is going to move to Israel due to the Art of the Covenant. If you know what I mean, do you follow me? So there you go, folks. You have a little information there. So the Art of the Covenant will be revealed. The big Art of the Covenant, if you've seen it in pictures and uh, on Google uh, Google search, the Art of the Covenant, it is what it is. And they're looking for this thing. They're looking for this Art of the Covenant. It holds power to it. It's not like power we have before houses and buildings and stuff. Not that kind of power. It has its own source power. So there you go, folks. There, whatever you believe in this art and the covenant craziness stuff, or Jesus Christ is going to move to Israel, it's a real deal. It's the real deal, folks. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as everybody thinks it is, is going to move to Israel for the people of Israel. It does say that in the Bible, in the Hebrew Bible, in every kind of Bible you can think of. They really word it differently. And uh, they really do. Go into the Hebrew Bible. It'll tell you what Jesus is going to do on October 22nd. He's going to move to Israel. So folks, bear with us. Or bear witness. How do you say it? Yes. So there you go, folks. October 22nd, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I'm going to say it one more time. Because I know what I'm saying here. October 22nd. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is going to go to Israel. This is this is the uh, uh, where um, Hebrew people are. He thinks that is the greatest place ever in the Bible. It does mention that in the Bible or the Hebrew Bible, but it tells it in different books or the uh, King James version. So I want to I want to pray for those people. I want to pray the highest high to the highest high. Let me pray for you. Because you're, you're a good person. You should come to the Lord. Come believe in the Lord. Believe in the mighty, almighty, oh God. And Jesus Christ, the devil thinks that Jesus Christ is almighty and powerful. The devil himself, the demon guy, thinks that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of this world. He sends his angels... Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, He sends our angels down here from the heavens all the way down to earth. And He'll save people. He's, he's, in, the, he's in the business of sending us messages from the skies above. He's our, he's our Lord and Savior. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. You've been saved. You've been saved by Lord's thunder is Jesus. Yeah. In your greatness, you're in greatness, you're in the light. And I appreciate those kind of people, I really do. I see I see potential in these people, I really do. And God just shined a light in me, it really did. And uh, 
that Jesus Christ is going to be the man of his word. He's going to be coming down in this world and give us hope. And we need it. We need it right now. Now, I heard about these people mention about dates when Jesus is coming back. The second coming. It does mention that in the Revelations. And uh, I don't know what chapter it is on, but go look it up. Jesus is definitely going to come back. And uh, with with his disciples. So let me let me let me rephrase that for everybody who's listening. Angels are beautiful. Angels, we don't have wings. As humans, we don't have wings. The angels in the sky do. Big angels, big wing angle. <laughs> That's the end problem. Anyway, I just want to say to you guys: be healthy. Just be true to yourself. Everybody will be appreciate what you do. We should laugh. We should all laugh around the world. I want to say that strongly. You guys can laugh, but this is the truth. I would, uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, meant for the world. He's going to reveal. He's going to reveal the Ark of the Covenant. I kid you not. He's going to reveal the Ark of the Covenant on October twenty second of this year. That everybody's looking for the art of the covenant. This is not no movie that you've been seeing in the in the art uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is the real deal. And I want I want to give a shout out to everybody out there who's listening out there. Give a shout out. And I pray for those people. I really do. For the pandemic and uh, it's sad all around losing that many people in the United States. I'm very sad. Very very sad. We got to have hope in our people. We really got hope for our people. It doesn't matter. It does. It has to do with politics. It doesn't have to do with Donald Trump. It does not have to do with uh, Joe Biden. You don't have to pick Joe Biden or Donald Trump. If you're if you're a Trumper, if you're you, know, you read the American uh, flag, you are automatically a Trumper. And you believe in Donald Trump, the President of the United States. Now, if you don't like Donald Trump. I've heard these stories time and time again. Uh, if you don't like Donald Trump, that's okay. That's okay. That's your that's your uh, that's your right to not like Donald Trump. If you like Joe Biden, the Vice President Joe Biden, go right ahead and vote for him because I know for a fact that Joe Biden has his good days and bad days. Sometimes he talks slowly. That's okay. It doesn't mean he has a seizure or something. He just talks slowly sometimes. He's getting old. He's seventy years old, folks. So, if you believe in politics the way that people believe in politics, believe in yourself. Just believe in yourself. And let God do the rest. <laughs> That's why I'm just thinking about my friend what he was saying at the moment here. So, just believe in yourself. Believe in the higher power. Believe in yourself. Really believe in yourself. God will send you a message in a, in a timely fashion. These people are gifted because you know why. You know why they're gifted because God gives them a message. It's not. It's not witchcraft. It's not evilness. Sometimes we have. God gives us a, a direction in our lives. We really do. We really do. It's not to do with evilness. You know, I've seen evil, evil things in the world, but this is not evilness. I've seen it close hand. In my in my eyes, so there you go, folks. Believe in the power of God and Jesus, the Lord and Savior. Amen to that, right? And just believe, just believe that you are the true person. Believe what you do. Just be good to yourself. Just be good to yourself, and everything will fall into place. And uh, if what you hear, by the way, what you hear in the background is gospel music in the background. This lady who's singing on the piano is singing gospel music. I think that is. That's the gender. So, anyway, I just want to say to you guys, I, I've just been blessed so many times. I want to say I'm blessed because there's many reasons. Because of my friend of 31 years who gave me so much in my life. The way he was so famous, and he was my famous friend. I, I just couldn't believe it. Of 31 years. If you can believe it. 
and uh, we just uh, said her last goodbyes for him because he's gone in the afterlife. He's gone in the grave. And we said her last goodbyes. I kid you not, folks, we said her last goodbyes to him. And it was very heart wrenching. And uh, yes, we, uh, and he was native. He was, his background was part native, part Jibwe. And uh, yes, because he was in, uh, his background was native. So he was kind of, because the native people, they have a long history because they used to do powwows, you know? And uh, yeah, if you're native, if you had native blood, then you're native. So there you go, folks. Believe in yourself. Just believe in who you are as a person of a Lord and Jesus. Uh, uh, and by the way, you are reborn. This whole thing about reborn is ridiculous. So, and Jesus is going to love you always, no matter what life, no matter situation you're in. As a person growing up, no matter what situation you get in, Jesus will be there. He's been there. He really has. You just got to believe in that faith. You just got to call on Jesus. He'll send you a message. In many, in many ways. In many ways. I'll say this clearly enough. In many ways. So, believe in the power. Believe in you. Just believe in you first, and God will do the rest. That's all I got to, to really, really give you a recommendation. Believe in, believe in your own self. Believe in that you're a perfect person the way you are, the way you brought up to be. And God will do the rest. Uh, I've seen many people who really doubt Jesus and really doubt Jesus really badly. This doubt thing is not good. Jesus don't want us to have doubt in our lives. Jesus will always be there in our lives, no matter what we do in our careers, if we became a singer, songwriter, drum player, to backup singers, you name it. So, folks, I just want to uh, I just want to bless everybody out there, really, to millions of millions of fans out there, my subscriber base, and uh, give hit that like button. By the way, hit the like button, guys. I really appreciate that. As YouTubers once said, hit the like button, hit the strike button on YouTube. You guys will be really good out there. And uh, one, 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 one thing I gotta say to you guys: you guys are the best. Keep up what you do. By the way, I want to give a shout out to all the musicians out there who sing music and singers, songwriters out there. There's many of them out there from the early '80s who are still alive to this day. And uh, I can give you a few of them. And uh, Jesus wants you to be a righteous person, a very righteous person. Yeah. Just believe in you and God will do the rest, my friend. Yes. And there's no there's, there's never no darkness. Just believe in the Jesus that I once knew. Just be, be happy. We want everybody just to be happy, not put a frown on. Uh, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. Uh, I want everybody just to be happy. You know, I really, I really do. I'm trying to do my darndest. I'm a beacon of light. I'm what you call a beacon of light in the world. When I see people's faces, I see a beacon of light. So anyway, there you go, folks. I'll see you there. I'll see you again on the next podcast. Until then, ciao for now. Yes, I love it. I love bless the world. Bless the Canadian people. Bless the American people. We love you. We love you. Ciao for now, everybody. Ciao for